Today, let's make a cute boxy pouch perfect for yourself or to give away as gifts. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content and today we are making a patchwork boxy pouch. So you can see I have all these fabrics laid out in the design that I want for the outside of my pouch. Basically, you want all of your pieces to come to eight inches by 10 inches. This is what the second piece of fabric is. This is the lining for my pouch. So now that I have all this set up, let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to be matching each fabric pairs with right sides together and just taking a straight seam until we have built out our fabric for the outside of our pouch. Here's what mine looks like. It looks really pretty. I love how it looks. It's the same dimensions as that inner lining. And then I am going to be adding some batting inside so that it can have a nice quilted effect. Now the batting, the lining, as well as the outside of your pouch are all eight inches by 10 inches. If you wanna make a bigger pouch, you could definitely just make that larger. Or if you wanted an even smaller pouch, you know, you could definitely size that down. Now I have this nice sandwich that it is the lining, the batting, and the outside of my material, and I am just going to be quilting all of this. Now I'm going to be using a fun zigzag stitch and just going around all those areas where I piece the fabric together. I think it looks really fun and really cute, and it is a really simple way to do this. I also did some quilting on a couple of the elements on the fabric. Now it's time to add the zipper. So with right sides together, I have the outside of my pouch and I'm just putting the right side of the zipper face down onto one of the short edges of the material. So I'm just going through pinning this all up so we can see here's the right side of my zipper. It's attached to the right side of my fabric and I'm just gonna be taking that nice long seam. So I'm going to be using a zipper foot for this to make it easier. You could definitely use a regular foot though as well and just taking that straight seam all the way down. So now if you would like, you could definitely top stitch this if you want to give it a cleaner look, but that's definitely an optional step. So once you have that zipper attached, we are now just going to be repeating that for the second side. So with the right side of my zipper pinned all the way along that short edge of the second side of the fabric. And now I'm just going to be taking a seam all the way through so that the zipper is attached to the right side of my fabric. So here is what my zipper pouch looks like. Now I'm going to unzip this and then do that top stitching all the way through again for the zipper. So I ended up doing this in two separate seams so that I wasn't getting any of the bag actually in that seam with it. So here's what my zipper looks like. I Now I have it unzipped slightly, so it's halfway unzipped, and I am just going to be sewing over both of those short edges of the material. Now, as you can see, before I start any of this pouch, I had actually gone through and overlocked all of the edges. That way it's nice and clean. If you do not have an overlocker though, that is no problem as you can use a zigzag stitch and that's gonna give you a really nice and clean look as well or an overlocker stitch on your sewing machine. So as you can see now, I'm just going through sewing up this little seam and then for that zipper portion, I'm gonna go back through and do a zigzag stitch over the zipper. That way it just has a really nice and clean look. And so I repeated this for both sides of the short edge of the pouch. This is just going to make sure that we have our pouch together and it's going to allow us the space so that we can create that boxy corner effect that we're going to need to use. So here is what the edge looks like. You can see that little edge of the zipper. So I'm just going through doing a zigzag stitch over those edges of the zipper so that I make sure that there's no raw edges and I don't have to worry about it fraying over time. So it's just a really nice way to do that. So now that I have this portion of my bag done, if we turn this right side out, you would see that we essentially just have a flat bag. You could definitely keep it like this if you wanted to. You just want like a little pouch. There is nothing wrong with it at this point, but I really wanna make this a boxy looking pouch. And as we poke it out, you can see that if we really start to play around with the corner edges, we will be able to get them to be that nice and boxy shape of what we are looking for. So to do this, I am just going to be pinning across these edges. So I'm gonna show you in a second exactly what I mean, but I'm putting my hand into the pouch and then just flattening this corner so that I get this nice triangle effect. And now I'm going to pin this about an inch down from the point and I'm just gonna be taking a straight seam all the way across there. So just a nice straight seam. And I'm gonna repeat this for the other corner as well. So all four corners I have now kind of flattened to make them this nice triangle shape. So once I have them all pinned, I can now just take that straight seam all the way across for all four of these corners. So I'm actually gonna be using a stitch guide foot because it has an inch already marked and I'll be able to very easily see how big of a stitch I need to take. If you don't have a stitch guide foot though, you could definitely just use the edge of your sewing machine, that little ruler portion, or you could have just drawn this out using chalk and a ruler. 
So now that I have all four corners done, you can see that they are nice and secured. I'm just going to trim off this extra bit of fabric. And then once again, we are going to be going through using a zigzag stitch to just finish off that edge. You could also use an overlocker stitch for this, which is what I did. And I found that it worked really nicely. And then if you really wanted to get fancy, you definitely could try to surge those edges. I would stick more with using the sewing machine just so that you're just kind of on one machine, don't have to keep going back and forth. So here is what our pouch looks like. I have trimmed up all the threads and we are just going to turn it right side out, which is really fun to do as you just get to essentially bring your bag to life. And here is what our little pouch looks like. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it is so fun and cute and the patchwork effect just adds another layer to it. You could definitely make these in multiple different sizes and shapes depending on what you're going for. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you wanna see next. Thanks for watching.